Okay, so this video is like to illustrate the difference between the YouTube policy of Japanese made games and American made games or studios in indie games, whatever. Um, so I recently um, made a or did a short let's play of uh, Final Fantasy 13 2. I uploaded it to YouTube and what do I get? They claim the whole video. They claim the audio. They claim everything. So, um, you know, YouTube has this new function where you can like edit out, you know, the parts that they claim. I do that. It takes like three days to do this. And then it just claims another part of the video. So, okay, like, I'm a big weeb anime fan, whatever. So, like, I love games that are, to me, like, anime-ish or, you know, Japan, Japanese or whatever. So, like, I'm, you know, like, that gave me a bad taste in my mouth, right? Like, wow, um, they're... What do they have to lose from claiming this video? Or what What do they gain from it? I mean, this is a game that was made in, like, 2012. And, like, to me, it's a mutually beneficial relationship between um, the YouTuber, the Twitch streamer, the content creator, wherever your platform of choices and the company that owns that IP, right? Because let's say a thousand people watch this YouTube video that someone like me makes on the internet and you're inspired to buy that game and try it for yourself. Let's say that's 10 people out of the thousand people that watched it just for easy numbers. What is that? That is a 1% conversion rate. So you just earned that company $600 on no work of their own, right? So the way the American companies see this is that it is a mutually beneficial relationship. Um, a company like Square Enix that owns that game, Final Fantasy XIII 2, they don't see it that way. As um, in America, you know, that's kind of like seen as still a gray area, but it's like, um, you know, fair use and whatnot. And in Japan, they're saying, how dare you, and this is our footage. Like, the most notorious one of these is Nintendo, and, like, no matter what they say, they're going to keep claiming these videos. So, that's why I will never play any Nintendo game. And, like, that's kind of why I'm uh, not the most... Uh, yeah. Okay, so for a very um, simple example, we're going to look at Blizzard, which is now Activision Blizzard's YouTube video policy. The fundamental rule, first and foremost, note that except as specifically provided herein, Blizzard Entertainment requires that the use of Blizzard content, you know, Hearthstone, Overwatch, um, World of Warcraft, all very big IPs that, you know, like, you could build an entire channel around, um, must be limited to non-commercial purposes. So, as long as you don't use it in your advertising, you're good. Um, so what this means... As a community content creator, you are permitted to create video productions using Blizzard's content and to distribute them freely on your website or on other websites where viewers can freely view your 
production. Limitation of usage. Neither you nor the operator of any website where your productions may be viewed can force a viewer to pay a fee to be able to view your productions. So, like, that's a very generous policy. And, like, you know, basically the way they are structuring that legal statement is that it's trying to maximize your audience, right? Like, wherever somebody can freely view this content, that's great. Like, um, okay, like uh, Hearthstone. I've made multiple Hearthstone streams with my broski. I have a few on this channel. Sadly, most of them are on my other channel, but that's life, right? I actually got good views, but anyways. Um, and my brother is um, very good at... He spends a lot of time making decks, um, yada, yada, yada. Go follow him on Twitter. It's uh, Duncan Smith, I think. But anyways, like, that's so open. But now I'm going to um, read, like, Atlas's policy for Persona 5, like, they shouldn't even have a policy. Do you know how many people, like, just let us use this content, transform it, and you'll get more cells. I mean, what? what's so hard to understand about this? You win! Okay, it's like 12 in the morning, so I'm going to be quick. Okay, so this is Atlas's blog post, statement, whatever, on Persona 5. Okay, now let's talk Persona 5 streaming and videos. Simply put, we don't want the experience to be spoiled for people who haven't played the game. Our fans have waited years for this game to come out, and we really want to make sure they can experience fully as a totally new adventure. Please read our video streaming guidelines. Screw you! It's that simple. Please, please do not post any specific plot points or story spoilers and only talk about the game in broad strokes. What? You're more than welcome to talk slash show confidants, the new combat, the velvet room, the dungeon, etc. Just please keep in mind that as a singular story playthrough, viewers are, quote, highly wary of spoilers. What? So what? What does that mean? Like, you're being so vague that... God. Okay, video content. You can post however many additional videos you like, but please limit each to be at least, at most, 90 minutes long. Screw you. You don't tell me how long my videos can be or can't be. No major story spoilers, and I'll leave that up to your good judgment. If you need some guidelines, avoid showing slash spoiling the ending segments of the first three palaces. Um, da, 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 da. I know I mentioned not showing the end of each palace, but you can grab footage from the Kamashita boss fight. Um, you must not focus solely on cutscenes slash animated scenes. Should prominently feature dungeon crawling slash spending time in Tokyo. You can't tell me how to structure my video. You can post straight gameplay or have commentary. This being a Japanese title with a single playthrough story means our masters in Japan, this is his wording, are very wary about it. sharing is currently blocked through the native PS4 UI. However, if you do plan on string uh, video guidelines above, apply ex except length. Ex if you decide to stream pa past 7.7, seven, uh, if I highly recommend not doing this. You have been warned. You do so at the risk of being issued a content ID claim or worse, a channel strike slash account suspension. This is not your right. Read what fair use is. Understand that people that create content based off of your game are a net positive outcome for you not like whatever okay thanks for watching this video um so here's my quick 
two cents as to how we can fix this problem is either you're able to block this your video in Japan so they can't even see it or Japan learns how, what fair use is.